Hi guys, back for another quick little video. Uh, I'm going to do an e-juice making tutorial. Uh, I know a lot of a lot of us are kind of worried because the, the government as usual is trying to control what we do and they want to tell us we can't, what we can and can't do all the time so they're going to put restrictions and bans on vaping and stuff. Uh, I just want to show you how easy it is to make your own e-juice. I buy 100 milligram nicotine from nude nicotine uh, it's it's a good one this one's not opened I just wanted to show it to you it, it uh you can buy it and it's nitrogen purge on top and sealed so you throw it in the freezer and uh, it, it'll last almost indefinitely before it starts turning brown I don't really know if there's an expiration date but who wants brown yucky nicotine juice right uh, anyway it's really this simple I, I've already poured out uh, I'm gonna make a hundred mils so you, you can go on your phone and find a, a vaping calculator and, and it'll do all the math for you You just put in what percentages you want of what and it'll tell you exactly how much to add but I'm gonna do a real simple recipe uh, you can mix different flavors I have a whole bunch of different flavors we make all kinds of cool stuff but uh, this is a simple one flavor okay so I'm making I want three percent nicotine so I put in three milliliters into a hundred milliliter beaker these, be these beakers are real cheap. You can get them on Amazon, like eight bucks. Uh, I've never washed mine with soap. I rinse them out in a bleach solution, then I rinse them real well with water, hot water, and I sterilize them and put them away. And let's see. This is absinthe, kind of a black licorice. I know a lot of people are like, ew, but I like black licorice, so if you don't like black licorice, make your own. Okay, so I'm putting in about six meals. I could go exactly measure it, but uh, for what I'm doing, it's, it's, it's close enough. I just went a little over the five mil line. I could use a bigger beaker, but I'm fine. And I like pouring the, the flavoring after the nicotine, because the nicotine's 100% uh, vegetable glycerin, so it's pretty thick, and this gets it all out of the little beaker real well. Okay, there's that. And then I want to do a 70-30. BG to PG so it's kind of hard to do with one hand oh shit made a big mess <laughs> so there is 70 percent BG or 70 milliliters and we will top that off to hundred milliliters I got my nifty little stirring stick here it gets down in the corners so I don't miss anything you see how it's kind of cloudy and then if you just keep stirring it for a while have a little patience just mix it around however you like sideways up and downs Real fast, real slow. There, see it's clear. Getting clearer. Just keep stirring it. Uh, you can see it's not really that long. Now that's all clear. So everything is mixed together well. That's uh, ready to vape. Some of the vape juices have an alcohol in them. If it does, read your contents. Let that sit open overnight or maybe throw some cheesecloth or paper towel over the top of it so no gnats or anything get in it and uh, or a fly and you have to throw it away but uh, you ask me how I know that one but uh, let that alcohol evaporate real well or you could put it in a, a double boiler and don't get it very hot just warm and, and say like you need to get it up to 170 degrees and that that gets rid of the alcohol it doesn't take very long to, to or 174 to evaporate that alcohol out but I would suggest just letting it sit overnight. Uh, you can you can go too hot and ruin your nicotine in there, and then you kind of wasted your time and money. The nicotine is the most expensive ingredient in it, but you could buy. I forgot what these bottles cost on it. Just look it up on nudenicotine.com. Uh, you can get however you like, and uh, whether it's PG or VG or 
a mixture or you can get less than 100 or whatever. I, I go for 100, just it's more economical in my opinion. And I can water it down with, add a little bit for what I need in my volume. But uh, same thing, if, if anyone has any questions on how to make your own e-juice, uh, contact me. It's in my channel on my About tab. And uh, I'm more than happy to help anyone get started. And uh, if you have any questions or problems or want to know where to get stuff, drop me a line. I have an email and a Facebook in there. Okay, guys. Good night. Have a good evening. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> I didn't plan on this video. I was just making juice and thought oh, I should show how to do that for it because some people might find that pretty useful. Okay. Bye.